I guess really there's there's only one place to start and, and I, you probably can't say too much about it really and, and certainly we're we're all aware of Darren. Like an excuses for yourself. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah right at the start. Um, but we see what Darren's had to say on Twitter. Um, Jermaine Anderson, um, obviously he's going to be hugely disappointed that he hasn't managed to get his, his ban overturned. Well, I, I'm not going to pretend I know all of the all of the detail, but you know, rough and ready. Um, I think the fourth has seen him um, throw a bottle overarm towards the, the dugout, and uh, he's assumed that there's some sort of aggression involved. Jermaine himself um, is adamant that he threw it underarm, and the footage sort of pans away, so it's it's not absolutely clear. But certainly, the the footage seems to indicate that it was an underarm throw, an underarm lob. Um, the bottle was empty. And uh, he's a big, strong lad. He's been in the gym. He overthrew it. Um, it's 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 very difficult. To, it's very difficult to understand the uh, the decision. And I, I think we we're all very shocked that it wasn't overturned. Um, and Jermaine's uh, very disappointed. But it is as it is. Um, we've got to accept that now and get on with it. So uh, you know, he's banned. He's out, he's out for three games, which is disappointing for him, disappointing for us. But uh, he's not going to be winners of the game at the weekend. So uh, we have to leave it, the thoughts of him behind. Yeah, just when you're a, a young player. Uh... It's part of the, the learning curve. I imagine things happen, don't they, that, that you don't want to happen and that aren't helpful and you've just got to, to take them on board.